Hello, good morning, students. Today we will see the one of the chapter from the twelfth standard that is oscillation. Oscillation is one of the motion which we have to study study details. In that, we have to see what is meant by oscillatory motion, then what is periodic motion, what is linear simple harmonic motion, then differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion. then equation for displacement velocity and acceleration of the simple harmonic motion then graphical representation of linear simple harmonic motion then energy in simple harmonic motion one of the example of simple harmonic motion as a simple pendulum then angular simple harmonic motion and the differential equation of angular simple harmonic motion and one example of angular simple harmonic motion so today we start with the oscillatory motion you know we have different types of motion such as <coughs> circular motion translational motion and you know very well what is translational motion the motion of the object along the straight line path that is called as the linear translatory motion whenever object moves from one place to another place for ever then that motion is called as the translational motion if the path is straight line then it is linear translatory motion if the path is curved then it is called as the angular translatory motion then what is circular motion if any body moves along the circumference of the circle then it is called as the circular motion if the axis of rotation is outside the body then it is called as the rotational motion for example motion of the earth around the sun is the rotational motion one of the type that is the spin motion in that case the axis of rotation lies within the body itself that is called as the spin motion for example the motion of the earth round itself that is called as the spin motion and here oscillatory motion whenever body performs the motion along a same path to and fro then it is called as the oscillatory motion okay that means suppose the body is moving along a straight line path like that this is called as the mean position a and b are called as the extreme position and if the body moves from o to b a to o o to b and again b to o then this performs the oscillatory motion that is called as the oscillatory motion o is called as the mean position and a and b are the extreme positions the examples of oscillatory motions are motion of pendulum in a clock to and fro that is called as the oscillatory motion then motion of needle of sewing machine up and down motion of the needle of the sewing machine is also oscillatory motion then vibrations of the strings in the musical instrument for example guitar sitar etc these are the examples of the oscillatory motion then what is meant by periodic motion the motion which repeats itself after equal intervals of time that is called as the periodic motion thus seen the motion of the earth around itself is a periodic motion motion of hands in a clock that is a periodic motion motion of the earth around the sun is also periodic motion that means the motion which requires or the motion which repeated after equal interval of time that is called as the periodic motion similarly this oscillatory motion is also a periodic motion oscillatory motion is a periodic motion for example motion of a pendulum in a clock that is the periodic motion and you know what is period period is nothing but it is the time taken by the object to complete one oscillation or the one set of movement that is called as the periodic motion this oscillatory motion if it is periodic then it is called as the simple harmonic motion why it is called as the harmonic motion because the harmonic function we have studied in maths also sin function cos function these are the harmonic function as the value of theta changes then the value of sin theta and the cos theta oscillates between plus 1 and minus 1 these are the extreme position and zero is the mean position that's why these are called as the harmonic function similarly this motion is a harmonic motion and it is a simple harmonic motion and as this motion takes place along a straight line path 
that's why it is called as the linear simple harmonic motion now let us we define what is linear simple harmonic motion for that we have to take some example here we have taken here a block of mass m which is rest on a frictionless surface and which is connected with the help of spring in this case the spring is neither stretched nor compressed that means the spring is in equilibrium state or we can say that therefore the force acting on the block is equal to zero and that position is called as the equilibrium position of this block suppose the block is pulled towards right then the spring gets elongated as the spring gets elongated because of the elastic properties of the spring restoring force is created in the spring and this spring tries to pull the block towards the main position that is in backward direction so as the displacement takes towards the right then the force acting on the block will be in the left that means the force and displacements are opposite in direction and we here see that as the displacement increases the force also increases that's when we can say that the force is directly proportional to displacement and force and displacements are opposite in direction what happens suppose the block is released from this position then the block gets accelerated towards the main position that means its velocity increases as it reaches towards the main position when it reaches towards the main position then the force acting on the block becomes equal to zero because the displacement is zero but the velocity becomes maximum velocity becomes maximum and uh, uh, because of the inertia of the block instead of stopping the block at the main position it moves towards the left and because of that the spring gets compressed that means displacement takes place towards the left direction as the displacement takes place in the left direction the spring gets compressed therefore because of the elastic properties of the spring the spring retards the motion of the block therefore its velocity continuously decreases and becomes equal to zero at a distance x so in this case the displacement takes place in the left direction and the force acting on the block against on the right, right side therefore force and displacements are opposite in direction and this force is also directly proportional to the displacement so when the block is pulled and release it begins to oscillate on either side of the main position that means the path of the block will be like this where o is the main position which is shown here b is the extreme position which is in the first diagram and a is the another extreme position which is in the third diagram that means these blocks move along the ab with o is the main position and this is called as the simple harmonic motion what happens in case of linear simple harmonic motion here we have seen that means f that is force acting on the block is directly proportional to displacement of the block from the main position and as the force and displacements are in opposite direction we can write f is equal to kx with negative sign here negative sign indicates that force and displacements are opposite in direction these are opposite in direction therefore f is equal to minus kx then in this case acceleration of the block takes place whenever it is released from b it accelerated towards the o when it moves from o to a its velocity decreases there is a retardation so acceleration of the block is given by the formula when a is equal to according to newton's second law of motion a is equal to f divided by m where f is the force restoring force acting on the block m is the mass of the block and a is the acceleration put in a is equal to minus kx and therefore putting the value of f in this relation minus k by m into x that is equal to a again k is constant which is called as the force constant which depends upon the elastic properties of the spring m is the mass of the block which is again constant so as k by m is equal to constant we can say that this a is also directly proportional to x that is acceleration of the block is directly proportional to displacement and again the same thing happens negative sign indicates that this acceleration and displacements are opposite in direction 
From this we have to define what is meant by a linear simple harmonic motion. So what is linear simple harmonic motion? Linear simple harmonic motion can be defined as it is a periodic oscillatory motion because it is a constant period, it is the same period. It is a periodic oscillatory motion in which the force acting on the body is directly proportional to its displacement from the main position and its magnitude is directly proportional to displacement of the body or of the particle from the main position. So linear simple harmonic motion can be defined as it is the linear oscillatory motion of a body in which the force or acceleration is directly proportional to displacement from the main position and the force and displacements are opposite in direction. This is linear simple harmonic motion. So this is the definition of linear simple harmonic motion. You can the question will be asked define linear simple harmonic motion or explain the linear simple harmonic motion etc. Now we have to see or study one more thing that is the differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion. Differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion. Linear simple harmonic motion. It is abbreviated as simple harmonic motion. The question will be asked for two marks. Obtain the equation of linear simple harmonic motion. Or for three marks, define linear SHM and obtain the expression for linear simple harmonic motion. So first we obtain here the differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion. We know that whenever according to definition of linear simple harmonic motion we have seen what is linear simple harmonic motion. Motion of a particle or motion of the object along the circumference of uh, sorry along a straight line path it is a periodic motion in which force is directly proportional to displacement of the object from the mean position and force and displacements are opposite in direction and therefore according to the definition number one the force acting on the body is directly proportional to displacement and force and displacement F and X are in opposite in direction and that's why you can write F is equal to minus KX we have seen that relation F is equal to minus KX where K is the force constant which depends upon the elastic properties of the spring while explanation we have seen f is equal to minus kx if m is the mass of the object which performs the linear simple harmonic motion then according to newton's second law we can write f is equal to m into a okay and Putting the value of m is equal to ma in the relation 1, we can write m into a is equal to minus kx. We know what is acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with time. So acceleration a is equal to dv by dt. Acceleration is rate of change of velocity with time dv by dt and v is equal to that is velocity is the rate of change of displacement with time dx by dt and therefore we can write acceleration a is equal to d by dt of dx by dt and therefore acceleration a is equal to d2x by dt square so a is equal to d2x by dt square using this we can uh, you can use this in relation number 3 m into d2x by dt square is equal to minus k, k into x ok so m into d2x 
by dt square plus kx is equal to zero. Dividing by m for all the terms. To all the terms, we can write d two x by d t square plus k by m into x is equal to zero. So this is the differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion. Okay, or we can write if we put k by m. Is equal to omega square. Then that relation becomes d two x by d t square plus omega square x is equal to zero. So this is the differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion in another form. It is in the angular velocity form. It is in the force constant form. Okay. So we will see. in the next lesson the expression for displacement velocity and acceleration for a particle performing linear simple harmonic motion okay